In this video, we're going to show how to take a TerraStation 5000 and make it turn on automatically after a power failure. By default, it relies on a UPS to tell it to turn on or it'll uh, resume after a power failure into the off state. So to make this settings change, uh, you're going to need a keyboard with a VGA port uh, and a USB keyboard, which we already have here. Before we even turn it on, what we're going to do is uh, open up the front so we can expose the VGA port. Plug the VGA uh, port in, and then we'll take the USB cable and plug it into uh, one of the USB 2.0 ports on the back. And then what we're going to do is turn it on and then try and intercept the BIOS screen. So to do that, we're going to turn it on, and then I usually just start gently tapping the uh, DEL key or the delete key on a keyboard. Anybody who's ever built a PC at home and had to go into the BIOS, uh, that's exactly what we're doing here. Um, once your monitor initializes, you should see the BIOS screen, or in my case it says entering setup, dot, 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 which means that the uh, Dell key was successful. And here we are in the, uh, in the pretty straightforward BIOS. I uh, highly recommend not changing any settings here, um, but if we're changing the power setting, uh, that's one setting change that might be worthwhile. But don't worry about any of the other settings. Um, and what you have here is this top menu, and we can use the left and right arrows to, to go left and right. Um, what we're going to do is find the chipset area. And here there's host bridge, which is sometimes called north bridge as well. And then there's the south bridge. The settings that we're looking for are configured under the south bridge area. So we're going to click on south bridge and then press enter. And then there's uh, restore AC power loss. Um, and it actually says here, specify what state to go to when power is reapplied after a power failure. And if we click on that, there's three options. Power off, which is the default setting, which basically means after power is restored, remain in a powered off state. There's power on, which means after power is restored, turn on. And then there's last state. Last state means go back to what it was before the power failure. So if the unit was on, turn it back on. If the unit was off, keep it off. Uh, I personally use last state, but if you want to be extra sure it's always on. Um, it's a 24-7 uh, device. You can obviously go to power on as well. Um, but we'll just use last state for this. But again, if it's mission critical, you, you may want to use power on. So what we're going to do is select last date, press enter, and then we'll press the escape key on the keyboard to get up and up a menu, uh, and then toggle over to the right where it says save and exit. And uh, the default one is save changes and exit. That's what we're going to do. Um, if you ever want to come back and restore to defaults, you can uh, either change it back to power off or go to the restore defaults option. Press enter. Uh, verify that we want to save these configuration changes, press yes. Now it's going to automatically reboot. Um, now the way this BIOS works is um, usually it has to go through two successful BIOS boots before these settings are really applied just to make sure you uh, didn't screw something up. So after the BIOS boots, we'll go to the, the grub loader, um, which is usually a good area before the system boots. I'm going to go ahead and just all control delete to reboot it once, so that means it'll go through the BIOS settings change one more time. Um, and after that, it should consider those BIOS settings uh, good. And now when I get to the grub loader, I'm going to go ahead and actually kill the power at the surge protector, which will effectively shut power off just like a power failure. Uh, so I'll do that right here. So all power is out. Um, and just to make sure that it's actually working, I usually wait 5 to 10 seconds, make sure there's no trickle power or anything else going. And when I turn power back on the surge protector, uh, the unit itself should turn back on. You see power is restored to the uh, keyboard, or sorry, to the monitor, and the unit has just turned back on automatically. Um, I'll go ahead and do that one more time, um, just to sh show it again, and I'll uh, leave the power off for a longer period of time this time. But it is critical to you know boot it up twice uh, before you you try testing it because it does take that that second successful BIOS boot for that setting to really stay in place. So now power is off. You can see even the uh, monitor light is off. Um, I'll wait another 10 seconds or so. Just do it a little bit longer this time. Absolutely make sure it's working. Um, and again, the, the last state means that since the unit was on during the power failure, it'll turn uh, turn itself. Um, on automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn the surge protector on. You'll notice that the monitor light will turn green the moment I do that, and this should turn on right after that. So we have power here and power here. And uh, that's exactly how you make these things recover from a power failure.